everybody. Uh, just thought I'd take a minute to kind of put up a, a, a quick kind of thought-provoking uh, video. Uh, I posted something the other day and I didn't realize till the end that my, my car and my mount was shaking all over the place and it, probably no one's going to want to watch it only because I'd get a headache if I had to watch it. thought about taking it down. I probably should. But the net net of the message was that <laughs> that um, you know, someone had commented about not politicizing the Mandela effect. And frankly, if the Mandela effect rationalizes and brings some rationale to you know, the disconnect that we the people are having with the, the left, you know, then it, 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 it rationalizes it and brings clarity to it and it, it helps explain it then whether you want to call it politicizing or not, you know, I'm going to stick to it. Um, and then the, the, I guess the other point to that video was, um, it's funny that I've, 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 I'm a firm believer that the closer you get to the nefarious truth, the more noise, negativity, and pushback, and and ne I guess negativity you're going to get. And I just kind of find it funny that. Uh, little me, you know, someone that's is about as insignificant as you can get in the world of social media and YouTube is, is is starting to see a little bit of that. So I don't know, maybe maybe there's some there's some truth behind some of the observations I'm making. And again, these are all just observations. Me, you know, reading the tea leaves from a from a distance and trying to make sense of it all. So I put a comment out there. I don't know if it was Dave Hodges or it was someone, you know, talking about all of these kind of nefarious things that are going on. And the big question someone put out there was, you know, why? I, he's like, I agree with you, but you know, why are the the deep staters, you know, for lack of a better term, doing what they're doing? Um, and um, if you, and this is just me again, you know tending to look at the big picture and look at all the different narratives that are going on. So, if you think about it, if the, if the, look, thinking about Agenda 21, thinking about a lot of the things that are going on with the vaccines and the purposeful intent of inflicting disease on us to weed out the population, if the purposeful allowing of criminal illegal aliens to cross the border into our country. If you look at all of these purposeful things that are going on, and you have to realize that they're purposeful. I mean, if they really wanted to shut down the border and keep people from coming in, they could do it. Um, if they really wanted to stop diseases, they could do it. Um, but uh, the, one of the realizations I came to recently that I thought I'd share, and again, I'd, be, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. This is just me just kind of thinking out loud. Um, if you really thought about it, the technology and the weaponry and what they have at their disposal, what we know about and what we don't know about, they could easily just take us down, I guess is the point. They could easily just take us down. Why screw around? Why keep just slow walking what people say that they're trying to do? They could easily do it. So obviously they don't want to do it. We also know as a fact that we as human beings have an energy that we exude, whether it's a peaceful, loving energy or whether it's an evil, hatred, negative energy. And, the, and, I, and I think we all will agree that there is a good, there is an evil, there is the, the nefarious deep state um, um, evil motivations. But if you kind of look at, at all the things that we know and hear and presume, um, maybe they don't want it to end. Maybe they want there to be a constant battle and they want there to be constant negativity to feed the beast. Think of it that way. Maybe that's what they want because they could very easily nip this whole thing in the bud as my grandparents used to say and just take us down and be done with it. But no, they want to slow walk it. They want to keep drama constantly under on, underway. They want to keep us on our heels. They want to divide us, and they want to keep that negative energy stewing. Um, Monsters Inc. They feed off negative energy. <laughs> so, and again, you know, and, and, and kind of going on the out on the fringes of this thought process. You know, look at the moon. The moon doesn't rotate. It basically stays in a fixed position, st staring straight down at us. So, so <laughs> if this whole thing is just a big game to some people, whether it's alien or non-alien or what have you. 
maybe they're watching this and it's like the game of risk, you know? <laughs> you keep everybody constantly in battle and you move your pieces and we don't know who's going to win or lose. I don't know. I, I was just, again, having that that observational kind of cogitate, internal cogitation going on of, of late and thinking about all these things. Again, we don't know anything. I mean, if there's one thing that I tell my son and my wife all the time, if we know anything is that we know nothing. They do such an effective job at disinformation. Who knows what's real and what's not? Um, I tend to believe more what I see for, my, for myself directly and visibly. Um, there are things that I think, I think we do know. I think we do know the moon doesn't rotate and that we only see one side of it. I think we do know that there are people that thrive on negativity. I think we do know that as a human species, we want to we want to love, be loved. We want to be happy and just live peacefully, for, you know, through our lives. So we do have certain truths that we think around. And um, I don't, that was so when someone asks why. When Dave Hodges on the Common Sense Show talks about why do they do what they do, I think, number one, they want there to be chaos. They want there to be division because we're much easier to control that way. I think we all know that. Um, what is the end state that they're going towards? I, I think that is a big question. What's the end game? And, and, and I think one of two things. Number one, there's an end game that we probably have more clueless as to what that end game may be. Or number two, there is no end game but just a perpetual state of flux and distraught and anger and hatred and, sin and fear, all those kind of things which we know that there are beings that kind of feed off of that. So in any event, I don't know. I, I wanted to put that out there uh, as a thought provoking point for people to debate one way or the other and and again I, I don't like the idea of debate as being argument I like debate as being something that's thought thoughtful thought provoking and just to kind of open your eyes a little bit uh, one of the things that I don't know if this is the masses or the minority or the majority or what it is but one of the things that I think a lot of people struggle with is getting caught in the weeds a good example is this whole Russia investigation and, and Peter Strzok and Lisa Page and all the all the moving parts around that whole thing. Two years ago, I realized the Russian investigation was a hoax. I realized there's a lot of nefarious players trying to to take over the government. Uh, honestly, I'm tired of hearing about it. Two years ago, I, I got it. I don't need I don't need to know any more than that. Just let me know when it's done. They're and they're and they're perp walking them to jail or wherever they take them. Um, but a lot of people just love the the, the bits and bites, the, the the nuances of all those little elements, and they thrive on it. And though that's good for many people, you can lose sight of the big picture and see what's really going on around you. So I've, I've always been the, again a, a kind of a big picture, holistic um, viewing person. Uh, and I, I'm not really into the weeds. My wife is, a, is the weeds person, so we complement each other very well in that respect. But uh, sometimes you just got to look at all of the facts across the board, the, the big chunks, if you will, see what they are telling you and where you maybe you should be looking. Um, and, if pe and if you find that people start slamming you down and basically telling you you don't know what you're talking about and, and going out of their way to knock you down, Maybe you're getting close to the truth. Um, if I hear someone talking about something that's off in left field and, and nowhere near the truth, I'm not going to waste my time trying to prove them wrong or what have you. Um, so if someone's doing that, I question their motives, I guess is the point. Anyway, just, a, just some thoughts I wanted to put out there while it was fresh on my mind. Now i got to go back to work and do my day job. <laughs> And if I, if I have an inspiration and I have a slice of time, I'll try to put something else out there. But again, love to hear your feedback and your thoughts and, and love a constructive knowledge sharing conversation. Talk to you soon.